Users of Windows and Voice Meter run into the issue of crackling audio for applications like Discord. I've made a video on this issue with Discord, you can find it here or in the description below. The issue users are having with this video specifically is the fact that you can't permanently set CPU affinity and priority from Windows Task Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely remove crack little. In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely remove crackling audio by setting up Process Lasso. Process Lasso is a Windows process automation and optimization software. It comes with tools like ProBalance, which maintains system responsiveness during high High CPU load times. It also has the ability to control CPU affinity and priority classes, comes with many features such as performance modes, energy saving settings, algorithms for CPU limits and balancing, and other power plans. For the crackling audio issue, the main fix for this can be found by optimizing our CPU settings for the AudioDG.exe process on Windows. The AudioDG process stands for Windows Audio Device Graph Isolation, which is a really stupid way of saying it is used for all audio processing and all digital signal processing. A DSP or digital signal processing is typically referred to when we're talking about audio interfaces. Some interfaces come with their own DSP, which will allow you to apply VST plugins directly to the audio sources on the interface. You can find this functionality in the PreSonus Revelator IO24 interface, for example. Some applications like Discord take advantage of the DSP pipeline to add their own audio effects and settings to their app. What tends to happen is an overutilization of the audio DG process, which manages the DSP on Windows. I hope you're still following me here. All we need to do to correct this crackling audio issue is set up Process Lasso so that we can fine tune the CPU affinity and process priority for the audio DG on Windows. This will fix the overutilization of the process and in turn will fix the crackling audio issue. You can find the download for Process Lasso linked in the description below. It is free to use. When you first open up Process Lasso, this is what it looks like. What we're going to do is go find that audio DG process. You can do that by searching here or going to active processes and it will most likely be at the top of the list because it starts with an A. You can see it right here. The first thing we're going to do is set the process priority. So we'll right click on this source. We'll go over to CPU priority, go to always and set this to high. After setting the priority, our next step is to set the CPU affinity. If you don't know this, CPU cores come with logical cores and physical cores. The issue with the audio DG process is it utilizes all physical cores and all logical cores. What we're going to do is go through and select one physical core for the audio DG process to operate. So if we right click the audio DG process again, we can go to CPU affinity. We'll go to always and we'll select CPU affinity. It will open up this window. And as you can see here, it's using all CPU cores on my processor. I have an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, which is a 12 core processor. So what we have here is 12 physical cores and 12 logical cores. Typically how these cores are organized is physical cores will start on CPU zero and then will be every other one. So in this case, it would be CPU zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and so on. The logical cores would be CPU one, three, five, seven, and so on. What we want to do is just start with a clean slate. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. Our goal is to select one physical core. So if you really wanted to, you could just select CPU zero, but I typically don't like to use the first core. I don't know why it's just like a personal preference. So I'm going to select CPU two and click OK. Now, every time you boot your computer process lasso should start running in the background. When you close out of this app on default, it is set to close to the system tray. So if you exit out of this and go down to your system tray on the, the bottom right here, you should be able to see CPU lasso running right here for you. If you're a creator invested in growth, learning and offering help to others, join our community by liking this video. It really tells me whether or not this video was valuable to you. Subscribe to our channel and join our Discord community so that we can start creating better content together. For watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.